Welcome to the production car challenge. We're in the Mazda as usual, although I would like to try something else different out once for once soon enough, but uh, in the Mazda as usual at some point. And uh, I went ahead and did something that I haven't done in a few races, and that's avoid qualifying. Um, I didn't get as many uh, practice laps in as I would have liked, so um, not too confident with my breaking points and stuff. So I figured number nine. Um, long race, 25 minutes, long, you know, compared to other stuff I do on road. Um, so time for things to shake out a little bit. We got a nice diverse field out here. We got plenty of Mustangs, plenty of, uh, Mazdas, and then we got a handful of both the, uh, Solstices and the Jettas, so that's really cool. 31 guys out here, so I have to be watching out for big messes. Another reason I'm glad that I am going to be in the back, taking it easy. So, goal number one in these races, as usual, is survive the pace lap. Because, uh... So how much of a gap is too big? This is a, uh, series that uses the pace laps in a discipline that doesn't always have pace laps, so some guys may not see it too often. I, that's the only way I can explain why these pace laps can times, sometimes be scary. But they're going to leave some room for the Mustangs up ahead. That's good. Maybe these, uh, what are those Jettas back there? Hopefully they'll give us a little bit of room. Maybe. I want to keep everyone socially distanced from me <laughs> to start this race. That sounds good to me. Let's see about that though. Hopefully it'll be a good race. It could also be chaos. But you always run that risk every race you sign up for. So we're gonna watch those Mustangs head out and then we're gonna watch the Mazdas wait for a minute. Jetstar 29. Jetstar. Oh, it actually wasn't quite as long as a wait as I thought it was gonna be. Because the guy was saying specifically ahead of time that uh, he was going to let them get out to a huge lead. So I thought that meant that he was going to be real dramatic with it, but it looks like we're still kind of pacing slowly. Jettas look like they're given space. That's cool. That is relevant to my interests. Not sure how this is going to go. Probably not too well for me. But if I can keep it on the track, maybe get some free spots. Could be too bad. And it's not like I haven't been to this car, to this car, to this track with this car before. So it's not completely foreign. We just uh, we do have our uh, advanced Mazda setup that's slightly edited from Major's Garage. Just some free stuff as usual. So uh, it is kind of wild, especially at the start on the cold tires. So I don't want to crash myself early on. We'll see what we can do. Those are some neon light blue tires on that 12 over there. You got like the sunset, almost like, like a Miami kind of scheme, like bright colors and the palm trees. It would need some like uh, neon, like purple and green and stuff maybe for, for Miami kind of feel, <laughs> but very interesting scheme. <laughs> It's just getting me how bright those uh, tires are. I think... I mean, you see it's kind of like sunset out here. It might start getting darker as this thing goes on. I'm not quite sure. That would be interesting, because I'm not so sure I've ever done an official race in the dark before. So that would be kind of cool. Um, not sure what to expect from that. I don't really know anything about racing at night. Get ready. Right, going so. green. Okay, close car is ready. Time to do your job. Why are we checking up so bad? Are we going yet? Man, these pace laps are so messy, always. Are we crashing before we even get to the line? Left side. Stay on the right. Oh boy. 
said I was going to hang back. <laughs> to the right. I think I still am. Clear on the left. We're trying to wreck. Hmm. Ooh, that guy's way off. You got guys freaking out. I do not like the looks of this. They're all over the place. Scaring me. Slow car ahead, where is he? There he is. Thank you, spotter. Making me aware that was gonna be there. Drive right back onto the track. Drive right back onto the track for everybody. It's really good. If he's talking about that guy that was stopped there, I'm glad that we got past him before he decided to drive in front of everybody. Alright, we survived lap one, and the pace laps. Dreams do come true. Eighth place. Got weird on the braking there because I was looking in my mirror. A lot of guys overcook it into that turn, so... I was worried he was going to do it behind me. That guy got off a little bit on into the sand. Car gets really unstable mm -hmm. here early on, so. Why this guy's diving yeah, in? Still there, hold your line. No, he did. Clear on the left. Diving in from a mile away. Last place. You want the inside? Sure. I'll take it live. <sighs> Trying to have a stress free start to this race. That's not allowed. You got a slow car on the right. Mustangs with issues. I guess. Go left. All right. All right, go have fun. Keep to the left. Dive bomb, Dan. Clear. Oh, no, Colton. Come on, mate. Defend your position. Just surviving. I'll say it once, I'll say it twice, I'll say it three times. Not too concerned. All right. Anything except for staying alive. Getting one X's because why? I don't know. The stewards have warned us about track limits. Keep it between the lines. Like I said, it was uh, I would have wanted to get more practice. The gap ahead is but uh, it was going off. The race was going on pretty soon, and I didn't. I finally broke 19! Want to wait another. So. Same break 19. In a Miata? No. No, in my thing. So I just couldn't, couldn't get it. Oh, he means lap time. Let's see how wide you can make this. What is that about? Let's get this up, I guess. Thank you. Dude, you're not fighting for anything. Just back off. I'm fighting to catch my coat. remaining. You've got 20 minutes left. I don't think it's going to. Come on, guys. Brock will be the ace. It's not like you didn't know that, did you? So I'm to say a name. You're complaining, I'm assuming some guy's a lap down and 
fighting someone. The Holy Gap is here. Did you miss me, Gary? I don't even know where you are. How could you forget the amazing movie you put on me last night? Oh no! Yeah, the defensive line oh, going up yeah, there. I now. That was amazing. It's your quickest today. It has begun, guys. Just trying to be smooth. Oop, that guy blinking out. It was quite entertaining last night. My colleague in the 19. Fact by name, fact by nature. I'm sure my all-time best is tracking yep. properly. I feel like there's no good breaking point marker, breaking marker, I mean, for that uh, corner. I just feel a little unsure about when I'm supposed to be letting off, getting on the brake, etc. Trying to get the hang of it though. These are essentially practice laps, is what you're seeing here. This is what practice would be like for me as I learn how to get faster. Learn that I need to turn in sooner to that corner, because I keep messing that up. The gap behind is now 1.0. What's happening? Jesus. Why are they so slow through here? Left side. Stay on the I right. overcooked it a little bit, but they were like stopped on the apex. Stay on the right. Clear. Car right. God, why do Still people there, keep wrecking right. me today? You cut the track. Keep it nice and tidy. Clear on the right. Nice move, the Nice move. Push me off the track. Uh, you God, this guy's all over the place. Get out of the way. No, we beat you a track, though. Wait and get him on this car. Or not. <sighs> I'm having a bad day of racing. <laughs> Lots of bad races where guys are taking me out, so I'm probably driving more aggressively than usual and aggressively, grumpily, impatiently. So. Probably not a good reflection of how I normally like to race, but every little thing's irritating me today. No, Eric, what happened? Oh, shit. Sorry, Jose. I took the drive. Okay. Couple spots there. Why are you hitting the brake so hard in this corner? He did that last time, too. Stuck behind him so bad. I need to figure out where to pass him. He gets through that corner better than me, though, which is unfortunate because that's this is where I think I would want to try to get by him. Okay, Alright, I guess he's going defensive. I feel like my engine noise is too quiet. It's hard to hear when I'm hitting the limiter. 
Clear on the right. Sorry about that. Right Immediately going back for it. Clear on the right. Let me get away. Please. Look how much time we lost ahead of us. Messing back messing around back here. I don't know if I'm even fast enough to keep up with the 17, but I know with fighting back here didn't help. God, I hope that draft doesn't bring him right back to me. Hold your nerve, just keep it smooth. No mistakes. P6. Well, I don't think my best lap's working, so is last lap working? I'm trying to find out if I'm turning good laps and where I can gain or lose time, and it's not really helping me whenever it's just saying I'm a second and a half ahead. Of course, I mess up that corner now because I'm dealing with that. Ugh! This guy's back. Clear. Damn. Solstice, this might be a problem. Car right. Great. Clear on the right. Comes again. Thankfully, we got through that corner all right that time. Oh, stressful. Hard here, Orlando. Thank goodness they're oh, wrecking behind me. Come on, he... No, that was on me. Sorry, Pete. I got the dirt and went right. I can breathe now. I was complaining a lot, but they were just racing for the spot. I mean, we are working good play. And I'm just grumpy today, so. I think part of it, I don't even think they really did necessarily anything wrong. I was just being whiny about them fighting me, so I'm, I'm, it's honestly a bummer that they, uh, ended up wrecking, but <laughs> just keep that in mind. I'm just grumpy today. So I'm complaining about guys racing me. Plus I'm feeling extra uncomfortable because I didn't get uh, as much practice as I would have liked here. So, uh, anxiety, discomfort, one X's, and <laughs> Grumpy Colton. Something happened to 17? No. For some reason I thought he was uh, off pace. Oh, that was bad. That was so bad. I can't believe I saved that. I got my tires in the... Uh, <laughs> Got my tires in the dirt. Oh, I can't believe I saved that. No more of that. I shouldn't have been able to save that. That should have snapped like it did at Sakuba during week 13. I just I thought it was going to stick better, so I kept it in the throttle. and Well, it did not. It did not stick. It's all my fault for not uh, practicing ten minutes to go. That's ten with minutes a uh, setup I didn't know about. It's my own fault uh, I'm not faster or safer, but we survived that. I 
Oh, dang, that 13 made it through that corner really well. Just watched him game a couple tenths on that corner alone. The entire Michael. Thank you, Michael. Okay. Yeah, look at all that time we lost by nearly binning it <laughs> next to that corner. It's almost. Might even add up to almost two seconds. It's crazy. The gap behind is now 5.1 seconds. We ended up just taking that corner better that time, too, though. Yellow flag, caution. Oh, what's happening up here? They caught me in a terrible spot. I just couldn't decide if I wanted to get out of the way, and then it was too late. Starting to hit my marks a little better. Getting the speed that I wanted to have from the beginning. Well, aside from taking it easy at the beginning. There we go. Alright, we got room, we can breathe. Anything that happens to me at this point is just straight up my fault. <laughs> Can't feel too bad about a lap that's two seconds faster than your previous lap. That lap was at 121.45. I uh, cooked it in there a little hard, but okay. Actually ended up giving us a decent runoff, and we're about equal to the last lap, so it wasn't that bad. Mm, didn't turn in as well as I would have liked. Yeah, these are the kind of marks that I would be able to hit better if I were more prepared. I keep saying it, but it's because it's true. You've got half your fuel left. Go ahead, you're lost, man. I'll bail my entry. Thank you, gentlemen. I think I'm happy just trying to set consistent laps at this point. Uh, I say that, of course, as I'm about half a second off my previous lap, but uh, I think if I can do that... If I can try to have consistent laps, then I should be able to... Get myself this uh, sixth place or so, which isn't great. Um, I'm number nine of all cars, including other classes, so I'm not sure where that would put me in terms of uh, the Mazdas. Yeah, that was pretty good. I don't know. Thank you. Kind of equaled up. I don't know if I can see. Let me see you. Bad corner again. Come on, Josh. Um, One hiccup. What was that? I don't really have time to look at my One stuff. One hiccup. You're going to take my inside light on a smart thing. Please pay. What? Keep the inside light. Keep the inside light. Mm -hmm. I couldn't see it for a while, but I'm like, so Wait for a chance to look at the standings. Felipe, you're an idiot. We've got idiots in here. Almost like you are, man. Oh my god. Gonna be fighting words. Got wheel damage now. Uh. About. Oh, sixth. Karma. Ace. Oh, almost went wide. <laughs> Yeah, we got quite a few uh, Mazdas behind us. It's hard to tell like how well I'm doing in a multi-class race. We've raced for so long, I'm not even one scratch in the car. Mm, I've it. Yeah, at least when I passed you guys, I was clean. Car on. Shove it between two headers and try and make that work. That ain't gonna work, Billy, but that's just stupid. Got past the uh, slower class. Mm, hit the uh, grass a little bit, but we're okay. Thank you. 
Eric, sometimes I think you purposely wreck just to torture me. Are you gonna be 14? I wouldn't say on purpose, but it is a bit of Tell the line, that's all you gotta do. Multi-class racing. Be predictable and you'll be just fine. Felt like we got past the slower uh, cars pretty well. Didn't get hung up too bad. And we've been overcooking it a little bit. Pouring air. Yeah, there we go. That was pretty good. I can feel my lap times getting better. I don't know how they compare to the, the fast guys, but... Not too uh, okay, set with how it's going. That. I should let you go in turn one. Still uh, taking that one a little softer than I need to, I think. Oh, good. I was too late there. Oh, I know, but I'm just taking it out. Get it wide here. You can kind of cut down and take that nicely. I don't want the angle to do with that, but we're fine. Fight him hard, Michael. We got the leader of the uh, solstices ahead, so be kind to him as we're getting by. Whoops! Something's happening. <laughs> that guy's yelping. So we reached the number one in a good spot for both of us. I'm sorry, dude. I don't know what happened. Clear. I lost it and I hit Eric. He was fast, but rubbish. Okay. I'll give you the spot. Pretty fun. This uh, is a fun setup to drive the Mazda with. Uh, it was pretty scary early on because <laughs> uh, it was really loose, but now it's uh, well, since the tires are heated up here and you got some grip, you're just flinging it around here, and it's pretty fun. About eight laps left, we're good on fuel. We're not catching the guy in front. We're basically about the same pace. Um, slowly moving away from the guys behind. So if we uh, don't make any major mistakes, we should be okay to keep away from them. We might have found our spot here. And, uh, might just be looking for any bonuses. that better that time. I can get on the gas a little sooner than I have been. Mm -mm. Got tight. That's unfortunate. Lost some time there because I had the lift. Oh, my desk isn't making too much noise. My audio has been better. I've got some good feedback on it, but uh, my, my desk is making a lot of noise in this race. So I'm wondering, it's going to be a big test to see how the audio sounds. But I'm not so sure I'm ever going to get rid of all of it. What flag ooh, ooh. So that's the thing that happened. So, you know, um, <laughs> you get those tires and stuff that's not pavement. And uh, the car will... In fact, get angry at you. I don't know if you know this, but it is a fact confirmed by scientists of all walks of life. Anyway, white flag. <laughs> Let's not crash it on the last lap. Just two minutes left. Two minutes to go. 
In fact, I can kind of take it easier now. I'm not going to catch the 17. I'm not going to be caught by the 13 unless I wreck. So let's not wreck. And just have a nice, calm... Excellent racing, Blair. Final. Excellent racing. Deep breath. How's well, everyone doing today? The five ruined it, but... oh, well. Doing all right. Yeah, that was, uh, It didn't become really nighttime. Well. That's too bad. Yeah, I still want to do a night race at some point. So I think that would be fun. I think a lot of people don't like night races. It seems I remember them scheduling stuff, and they're like, "Oh, but I don't want to do a night race. Should we have at least one night race?" And then people are like, "No, I don't want a night race." So apparently, it's not very popular. Yeah. Really but uh, I want to. I want to try. The sun's going down. It's almost night. But... All right, P6 of the Mazdas. Not sure where that puts us overall, but I know the Mustangs were all up there. Yellow flag stopped on the right. Make sure we're out of harm's way. Get around this first corner one last time. Nice run. Solid work. And uh, pull it on over here. Should be well enough out of the way. All right. We didn't get destroyed. Just got 3x from getting off the track, but that's nothing. P11 overall. Out of 31. Sure. Um, and uh, five of those guys were Mustangs. So of our class, how did we rank? A little bit past mid-pack. Not too bad. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Out of seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So literally right in the middle of the Mazas. All right. I'm okay with that. I don't know how that affects the I rating or what we were supposed to finish in. But uh, I'm happy with it. Let's see. Who out here maybe wasn't so happy? Not neon wheels. I think it's okay. That was just a little tap. It was early in the race. We were right there watching it. It's another tap. That's a self-spin and a little bit of help getting it to fully turn. There's a Mustang hitting some tires. That's unfortunate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are you... <laughs> what is this? Why? What? Why are you even gassing it up right here? So you self-spin and then you got to wait here. Why are you hitting the gas? Look, he was about to come get me, too. He's coming at me. And then he decides, oh, wait, there's people here. Nah, I'm gonna go anyway. Like, what are you doing, man? <laughs> All you got from that is a little bit of front-end damage. People mad at you, and you were able to pull away at the exact same time you would have anyway. Not sure about that one, Chief. That looks like maybe the car on the outside didn't get enough room, give enough room, because he's literally on the curb while he comes and hits him. Saw that. It's gonna be a dive on the Jetta, maybe. Oh no, the Jetta just cuts down and on him. So that one wasn't the eight's fault. I have to feel bad for him, though. Mustang. Oh, no. Mustang. Oh, no. Those non-paved surfaces again. Oh, God, don't put in the lake. <laughs> don't go in there. Hey, it's me getting hit by a guy. Love me up the track, why don't you? He got his wheels on the in the, in the gooey. And that sent him over towards me. Thankfully, that wasn't much worse for us. That could have been really bad. But uh, we got back on the on the grip. And eventually made the pass on him, I believe, didn't we? Yeah. I th think he crashed or something. Either way, we ended up past him. Self-spinning in the uh, Mustang. Oh, no. From second place, too. Right into the tires. That's very unfortunate. Gets to go in safely. The Jetta murder. Their tires were in the uh, 
and that stuff, and so they weren't able to get on the brakes like they intended. That's not the line you want to take through that corner. Deep loops. Oof. Uh, yeah, he, he got yelled at for that, but I'm not so sure he could do anything. So he gets hit by this guy. Obviously, that's not his fault. And then the tires get in here. And, uh, spoken from experience, you know, the, it really just wants to turn left. Like, you don't have much control over this at all. So, that's just unfortunate. Um, I get... I say unfortunate too much, by the way. I need to expand my lexicon. But, yeah. I mean, I think you can maybe not get on the gas as hard. Maybe I won't pull to the left, but once you're kind of like right... Oops. Once you're kind of like right here-ish and you're turning sideways, it's really hard not to end up going all the way to the left like that. I'll be honest, I can't explain that one. Um, looking at the relative or something? Not paying attention? Oh, I thought that was further down the straightaway. It was. Look, he should be fine. He just kind of drives off the side of the track. Like, he's going fine here. And he just keeps too far to the left, I guess, and gets those tires in it and wrecks. Kind of strange. It happens, though. <laughs> he goes for a little a little ride there. Whee! Right, that's enough. Okay. <laughs> no, not the neon wheels. What happened? Cat car kind of just drives into them. They're fine, though. For now. Not so fine anymore. Cat car just pushes them off again. Picking up every lane of the track. Kind of like the cat takes up every lane of the laptop whenever you are trying to use it. My yeah, fiance's laptop. You know, cats do that laying on the warm surface. Jetta's fighting. Jetta's getting in the grass. I don't think there's anything happening here, though. Backing out. That was good. Good decision. Just kept them safe. That's a self spin. Yeah, these things are hard to save once they start going sideways. Especially in these setups that you uh, set up to have be looser and stuff. The rookie Mazdas, you have a little bit better of a shot to save it, but... Oh, in the uh, 19, having more problems. More self-spinning. Wow, oh, and he... Over, he corrects it right into the two's path. And that would be that. The production car challenge, not so bad of a race today. Uh, we took it easy, uh, put ourselves at a disadvantage at the start because I didn't have enough practice and uh, then didn't qualify, but uh, we moved up eight spots overall and uh, finished mid-pack of the Mazdas. I'm okay with it. Not a, not a groundbreaking finish, but I can go home happy with this. So, uh, Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Somewhere else, I suppose. <laughs> see you.